Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Thursday, the 18th of June, and uh, about 5.30 in the morning. I'm up and around this morning to uh, go get some supplies for the Albo Play Day that's coming up on Saturday. Plus, I've got a bunch of other projects we need to get done today to make things happen for uh, the show. Again, I'm back at the farm, got my uh, running done, got my stuff bought and purchased, putting it in the cooler and uh, getting ready for the show. A lot of stuff going on today. I got to get these in the cooler and get some stuff out of where you're at, so you'll have to excuse me, I'll have to have you move in a minute. And uh, a ton, a ton of work to do today because yesterday's weather was just too awful to get out in it. So. Yeah, bear with me. Some of these may be out of sequence today, but uh, yeah, got a lot of stuff to do. Lawns to mow, pipe to pull up, you name it, we got to do it. So stay with me. Part of the game plan this morning is to uh, get the uh, string uh, line trimmers out, get them going on the front yard first thing. That way I can get some water on the yard before I have to pull up the hoses before people start driving over them, bringing stuff in through the north driveway because we got to run the hoses across the north driveway to get them up here to the uh, yard. So, yeah, I'm going to get the uh, front yard here trimmed. we got to finish that. This is on the second trimmer. Uh, mow it, and then we'll get some water going on it while I attack the rest of the place with mower and trimmer and pickup pipe and, yeah, yeah and so forth and so on. Yeah, busy day today. <laughs> Is there anybody that makes string that doesn't stick to itself so it feeds out? I'd really like to find some of that if there is such a thing. This 30 year old Black & Decker is still working. I uh, had to buy an adapter though to get it to fit uh, extension cords. That was a little something extra they didn't include in the thing back in the day. And uh, yeah, I've uh, got a replacement end cord on there just in case the cord gets into that. And uh, one other thing we do with the hedge trimmers around here is I tie a loop around the uh, conduit there where the plug comes out. That way when I uh, pull it tight, uh, we got something that we're pulling against besides just on the plug there. Next up we'll be uh, trimming those hedges with a little electric hedge trimmer. Well, those little bushy bushes look a little bit better now that they're trimmed. This one here in the front was actually pulled out at one time. And uh, it's starting to grow back. It's coming in a little bit thicker and better every year. There was another great big huge bush right here in front of the living room window. Uh, we ended up pulling it out. It was nothing but a bug catcher and full of spiders and whatnot. So, yeah, that's the bush. I uh, split the uh, draw bar. On the Super M trying to get out. Split the draw bar lengthwise, no less. So, yeah, I'll uh, throw in a little picture of that uh, hooked up to that big bush. Okay, we've got a sprinkler going up here on the dry spot. There's one way out there at the corner and another one over by the uh, south driveway entrance. So, yeah, we're going to get all this dry stuff watered up here. Have a bite to eat while it's uh, watering and uh, then mow out around the uh, buildings and whatnot so we can get water down there later today and uh, yeah then we won't have to worry about watering anything tomorrow something else we got to get done today is move this old plow that hay rake 
and that other plow out into the field and then we got to disassemble this gate and these old iron wheels off of an implement and get that out of here and then mow all of that grass that's tall enough you could about run a swather on it and make hay out of it i think there's a little bit much choke on that well now that that old girl's all fired up and running we also have to move this disc out into the field and uh, move some of this other junk around back in here and mow the weeds Okay, all we got to do now is uh, weed eat and mow that area and the rest of it uh, we'll just mow and then we have yet to move that old feed carrier platform that's sitting right there at the end of the shed because that's right where the uh, little porta john's going to go. Well that's about it for today folks. It is about 10 minutes to 9. I've got a lot more yet to do tonight, but uh, yeah, this needs to get edited and uploaded to YouTube ASAP, so you'll all have it uh, Friday. So I'm going to call it quits for now. Uh, we got everything mowed north of the barn. The gate thing with the wheels has been moved and protecting a new pine tree that's growing. Got the sprinklers moved and watering different places. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to get the uh, gated pipe picked up tonight. If not, we'll tackle that one tomorrow. Anyway, y'all have a good evening, and we'll see you out here on Saturday the 20th.